So I've been getting a couple of requests um, also for stretches. So I wanted to send you um, or create a video on some basic stretches for the upper body that could be helpful, um, especially if you're at a computer and you've um, had your shoulders that are rounded forward. There are two things that I recommend um, to my clients on a regular basis. So the first is going to be stretching the pec into the bicep. Um, our pec major is kind of a fan muscle, so a fan shaped muscle um, that allows the shoulders to come forward towards the midline. Um, that's how those muscles um, uh, work and are, are fashioned and they have lots of different attachments. Again, it's kind of like a fan or like a seashell kind of uh, shape. Um, so that is a big contributor to um, that rolling forward or those that forward posture of a computer or people who drive for a living. Um, and also texting, right? Texting or being on your device. Um, so a great way to stretch um, the pec is you're going, pec major, um, is you're gonna be putting your arm against the door, kind of the door jam, and you're gonna be rotating your body, rotate your torso away from it. Now, one thing that you don't wanna do, you don't wanna swivel your shoulder. So if you find yourself rotating but you're swiveling, you're no longer isolating that pec muscle. So keep your shoulder stable and you're only, and again, you're gonna turn, kind of turn your belly button, turn your torso towards the other way. Now you only want to be stretching to where you feel the stretch. You do not wanna be over stretching the tissue. Um, and then I also um, recommend, because it is a fan shape, I always recommend that people do um, this stretch in three different positions. So you'll notice that um, depending on which area of tightness, you'll be able to do a little bit more with some positions versus the other, but um, kind of a 45 degree angle down, um, center, and then 45 up. See now for me, that's a little bit tighter. Um, now, the other thing to do, if you wanna get bicep involved, bicep is usually tight as well, especially in this position, because any sort of um, flexion at the elbow is going to um, passively tighten this bicep. Okay, you can stretch out the arm and you're gonna do it again. And this time, ooh, yeah. <laughs> Even massage therapists need, um, need help with their biceps. Um, so this time you're going to feel that all the way into, sometimes into the shoulder joint, but usually into that, um, that belly of the muscle, okay? And again, go back to neutral, do up. And bicep has two heads, that's actually what it means, bicep, sep is head, bi two. So um, there are two heads to the bicep and you're gonna get both of them. You stretch both um, with this motion, you stretch one here and the other here. Okay, all right, now the last one that I'm gonna show you is actually a stretch for the lat, which is on the side. It's the shoulder, uh, posterior, back shoulder, and um, lower back stabilizer. It's a big uh, butterfly muscle, if you've um, seen that in bodybuilders. Um, one really great way to stretch the lat is also to grab onto a door jam, and you're gonna put one hand over the other, and then you're gonna hinge forward. Let me move my camera a little bit so you can see my hips. Okay, ready? We're gonna hinge forward, and that shoulder that's up on the top is the one that is going to be stretched. So let me turn it around here. You can see this, and then hinge, and you'll be able to feel that stretch all the way down. Now, again, this is something that you only want to stretch very, very um, gently. We do not want to be over stretching tissue. We don't want to um, uh, irritate the tendons. Um, this is just meant to give a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more pliability to that. So if you do your um, pec stretching, your bicep stretching, and um, the lat stretching that I showed you in combination with all of the work that we did um, with the uh, tennis ball on the back um, with the rhomboid, you will be in great shape. All right, enjoy.